Look, there are people up on the walls up here. Oh gosh. This is where the action happens. This is the main street and it's full of shops, it's full of restaurants, cafes, bars, everything you name, it's here. And it's definitely the place to be. I don't think that we've experienced all of it. I think that we were just passing by when it was closing and stuff. But I think today would be the day to experience it right now. Well, with the sun beating down on us, we are going to take a walk along the main drag of the old town. And I think we're on the lookout perhaps for some souvenirs. And Paul needs some shorts because the I'm weather just uh, the weather has turned out a little bit warmer than was predicted. I should have packed more accordingly, but I think I assumed that it wasn't going to be as warm as this. Oh look, a bookshop. I see Prince Harry in there. I wonder what else they have. Going in here? Would, would they sell shorts? Ah, possibly. Discover Croatia. I really hope this store has my shorts. No, because I saw this place yesterday and it looked rather Mediterranean y. Aqua? Yeah. I think we've been into one of these stores before somewhere. Have we? Possibly in Spain? I don't know. Oh, I can't recall. They didn't have it either. <laughs> You're going to check every store now, right? I think I need to check each and every one. Oh my gosh. Look, you could dress up in some traditional. Croatian gear over there. Oh, look at these. There are sunglasses, handbags, scarves to put around your head. What about the shorts that you need? Maybe you could just get a skirt instead. Let the air flow. Let it roam free. I spent thirty-one fifty on these. I'm not cutting that. Okay, so it looks as though Gant is your last chance saloon over there for shorts. What do Hopefully you think? Probably not. Well, why don't you go and take a look? What do you think? I think I might be spending a lot on them. Oh well, take a look and see. You've really been put to the test in there because the shorts that you liked uh, were 120 euro. That's a lot of money to spend on shorts. I was never gonna be paying 120 euro. I have to say they were all 120, no matter what type of shorts, that was the starting price. I can't justify 120. I buy everything when it's on sale, so I can't, I can't do Well, that. I wanted you to be comfortable, but in some ways, I think you've been put to the test here, haven't you? Because you do like your clothes, and I can't it do looks that. as though that you do have some scruples when it comes to clothes after all, so well done. But you'll just have to wear jeans for now. Jeans for now. And to be honest, there's only one more day of the warm-ish weather. To be honest, I think this kind of shows me that I'm not easily swayed. Like I was, I was like almost tempted. <laughs> I was so tempted. And I was kind of pushing you as well, only because I wanted you to be comfortable. But it is a lot of money on a pair of shorts pounds. in the middle of a cost of living crisis. You could 
definitely get lost in all these little nooks and crannies. I think that there's like so many more different shops and bars and everything you can imagine inside them, which we haven't done yet. You really could get lost in all these little streets. So we've walked from one end of the old town to the other and at this end there's a lovely statue of a doggy. I wonder what that signifies. Oh I really like this, look. An orange tree. Look at this. There's loads of them. They almost look as though if you give them a shake they would fall down. Talk about dangling fruit, my dear. And this is the other end of the city walls. We hope you enjoyed the show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. We are about to embark on a trip on the city walls. Now, it's included in the Dubrovnik Pass. Otherwise, it costs, I think, 35, 35. euro. So the pass itself is worth it, even if you're just doing this. But you get so much more for the pass. Now, we saw Susan Kalman take a tour of the city walls, and she climbed up, I don't know, several hundred steps and was out of breath. So I think the same is going to happen to me. Oh, God. We've only just walked up the initial set of steps from the ticket office and I'm out of breath already. Uh, there's a long way to go. First of all, we can walk along the first ledge of the city walls. Up until this point, we've been blessed with the glorious weather, but today it has broken. It's windy, it's drizzly. Look at my hair. I was just gonna say, look at the flag, but Paul's hair is an indication of how windy it is and probably the sound is not going to come out 100%. Yeah. Mind the steps. Only three this time. Interesting little door. You come into this sort of like fort area where at least it's not as windy. And it seems a bit protected from the elements. And there's a good view of part of the city from here as well. There seem to be various entrances onto the walls because it's not all one continuous section. I don't um, think that they're all connected either. No, so we are on the middle section at the moment when we did the Game of Thrones tour, which we will have seen in our first episode, we were at the fort on the other side. And behind us, with the flag flying in the distance, not the one that you can see just there, but further up, is Minseta Tower. And that is where we will aim to get to later on. Isn't that the cannon that was used as one of the areas for Game of Thrones? I think this was used as one of those fortresses, the cannon, because that's what Tavor was saying during the tour. A really bad hair day today.
How are you making up? I'm going slowly, and of course I'm scared of heights, so this is not good for me. Hold on really tight to your phone. <laughs> and also the banister. Look, people live over there too. But that'll be quite a commute every day. There's a steep incline, which is making it kind of difficult. And these stairs are quite steep as well. Oh look, orange tree. I see a seat. It's time to sit down. Oh my god, look at this. What a view. Looks like we are going to be going down soon. Out of breath yet, Paul? Yes, I need to pick up my steps, so... And I'm all for one uh, stopping off for a bit, so look, we have an art shop here. And made in Dubrovnik, I think we should take a look. Yeah, why not? Are we ready to head over to the next area? Or no? Strong. I wouldn't call it leisurely, but look, there is a basketball court down here. I think I've got to take a little look in here. It's like a little kind of a miniature fort or a little hut or something. Let's go in and see. It'll be shelter from the wind. Oh dear. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. I might not get out again. Gate. That's given me ideas of something to do. Oh, and you can see out into the sea here as well. There's lots of nails on the ceiling and the walls. It really does provide a lot of shelter. A great view from these portholes. So we've got a sign saying the city walls continuation. So this is the next leg of the city walls that we are going at from, this is leading from the Maritime Museum. You know, maybe it is possible to get to Minseta Tower in one go because we haven't left the city walls. There was another point of entry uh, but we didn't need to show our ticket again, so I think we just could take it. Wow, I didn't think I'd actually get a chance to touch one of the rooftops. And it's quite a sturdy stone, I'm not sure what it's made of. It almost looks like terracotta. It's not. It must be some sort of slate. But it is the typical uh, sort of dark reddish colour. Time to sit down again, but look over there. Mansetta Tower Are we is leading within back to touching it? distance. We've come full circle. Almost, almost. I didn't think that it would be all connected. Look, a flag. I do love a flag. Oh look, that's where we started. Over there. Oh wow. And we're nearly done. Let's keep on going. Look, Paul, it is, I think, I hope, the final set of steps behind us to Minseta Tower and hopefully one of the best views of the city. Ready for the last set? I keep saying that. Yeah. This should be the last set of steps, I think. <laughs> It's 
two-way traffic here as well. I've got something to hold on to. Turn around. Duck. People coming down. We have reached the summit, my dear. Mansetta Tower. Or Mansetta Fort, perhaps it is. Paul, are you going into that wee house? -y? Okay. Maybe. It's a tight squeeze though, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you go in? Okay. This is the view from inside the little house. What do you think of the view? Yes, it's lovely. We have come full circle. It's time to go. We are back on terra firma, and I think this is worth doing, but you did say it felt a little bit anticlimactic at the top, didn't you, Paul? I thought that the view was going to be much more magnificent for some reason. That may be because we had the view from the top of the hill after we took the cable car. Um, but I think it is still worth doing, and you can walk the whole way around. There is the other separate part of the wall uh, on the other side of the little harbour, uh, where there were lots of the, the Game of uh, Thrones activity uh, scenes over there. But yes, and don't forget to use your Dubrovnik Pass, because it pays for itself. 